G'day everyone, James Greenshields here from the Resilient Leaders Foundation. I've been uh, working with a couple of guys at the moment who talk about hard work. You ask them what they're passionate about and they say hard work and I can totally understand that. That's a natural thing for uh, particularly men to, uh, to really resonate with. My point is they don't want to, to work hard. That doesn't make any sense to a lot of people. It's, the reason is working hard for hard sake means nothing. And it's counterproductive because you can beat the head against a brick wall all you want, but you're not necessarily going to be able to move it. So what does hard work give you? And that's the key critical question to ask. And it's true. People want to do something inside themselves and for the community and for, of service that really... Hi, Judy. How are you? Um, hey, Andre from overseas. Um, but that really not only is of service but they get this deep inner sense of accomplishment. We take young people when we do the Young Warrior, we put them through a number of arduous tasks and it's not for getting them physically exhausted and mentally shattered, uh, it's predominantly to actually take them into their emotions and at the end sit there, take a huge breath and look back and go, look what you just accomplished. Look, did you actually think at the start of this massive hill with all this stuff, that you could actually do that. And most of them will say, no, I didn't believe I had it in me. And I say, right, that feeling you're feeling right now is a sense of accomplishment. That's what we want. This hard work is, it's for, for anyone. Anyone can do a hard work, a hard day's work. It doesn't matter. It, it, and what happens if you don't do a hard day's work? Well, often we'll beat the, uh, beat the crap out of ourselves, and you know, we'll, we'll feel guilty and ashamed or something like that. We don't want to work hard. That's just being silly about how you're actually operating. And, and, and not only that, quite often, it's inefficient. It's ineffective, especially in small business. A lot of small business owners go under because they're working too hard in their business. They're not working smart about it. Sit back and look at your business. Sit back and look at your life. Sit back and look at your jobs, your, your relationships, and get a sense of accomplishment, particularly in your personal relationships. Like Kirsten and I, before I went to Iraq, we were on the rocks. You know, We were only cohabitating. Um, we weren't emotionally connected at all. And then I deployed to a war zone. Yep, almost die, cool, come back, shattered bloke inside, uh, not knowing how to be a father. One of the biggest things that I have done over the course of my relationship with Kirsty is look at her and realize what, where I've come from and where I am now. And I constantly get a sense of massive gratitude for myself for having the courage to go in, face the demons and transcend the demons so that I can be the person that I am now and connect in a way that I'm currently connecting with not only Kirsty but the girls. And that gives me that sense of accomplishment which spurs me on to the next thing, to take myself to the next level. Remember, you sit and feel that accomplishment, you'll get a deep sense of wanting to actually go on and achieve more. Trust that's been of benefit. Remember, you don't want to work hard, anyone can do that. You want to work smart and you want to realize why you're working and that is because you want a sense of accomplishment. Side note to that, if you're not getting a sense of accomplishment from your hard work, then you're not doing the right work. Figure that out. Find out how you can change that and come back to basics, getting a sense of accomplishment. Trust that's been of uh, benefit. Remember, if you're hurting or you know you can give more in the world, with the world, if you know you want to take your life to the next level, remember to put your hand up. Two more events coming in uh, in a couple of weeks. One to the Sunshine Coast. It's beautifully sponsored by Marucci to RSL. And one to my hometown I've been invited back to uh, to run a Put Your Hand Up event, the town of Seymour in Central Victoria. Much love to you all. G'day, Big Ray. You're a legend, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.